Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Happy Tea Tuesday. I hope you guys are all doing well. For our tea, we are having mango ginger. I love the Yogi brand. They always have these wonderful quotes and it is, your strength is shared when you are present for others. That is so true. I was thinking today we'd open some happy mail. I'll do a little bit of uh, chit chat and do some highlights from our spring break trip. And let's do a little look through at some of the souvenirs and gifts we received while we were visiting family. So I'm going to start off by opening some happy mail. And I received this from Billy, who you already know here is a craft and cake with Billy. Um, I'm so happy for her. Her channel has grown tremendously and she had recently hosted a giveaway. I'm guessing this is a thank you card, but let's open it up and see what it is. Look at that, it says Karamia's Corner. Oh wow, look at that beautiful card. That is gorgeous, thank you so much Billy. Warmed with love, steeped in friendship. How funny, I'm having tea and I love that. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. Let me open it up and read it. It says, hello friend, you are do, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to thank you so much for your kindness. Your entry was so thoughtful and beautiful. Thank you for taking part in my 500 subscribers challenge. Keep in touch, Billy. You are so welcome, Billy. Thank you for sharing this beautiful card. I love her content. She makes the most gorgeous shabby chic creations. Look at these butterflies that she shared with me. These are so pretty. And it looks like she's also shared little cut apart, a postcard. Oh, that is so cute. I'm definitely going to add this in my journal. So Billy, thank you so much. So let me share a few photos from our trip. It was our first time visiting Knott's Berry Farm. It was so much fun. I just brought back a lot of childhood memories for me. I love, I grew up reading Peanuts comic strips and I love Snoopy and Woodstock and Charlie Brown. So we stayed at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel in the Snoopy themed room. It was really cute. It was a small room, but they had a wonderful surprise for us and they had two Snoopy plushies that one I gave to my daughter Lil and the other one Emmy kept. So here's what that guy looks like. Look at this big plushie. Isn't he super cute? So Emmy was so happy to get one of these. Um, we did not buy any uh, souvenirs from there just because um, we already have so much at home and so we were happy to just take that plushy home and we enjoyed the rides. I'll put a clip of some of the roller coaster rides that um, my husband had rode but uh, we skipped and we just rode the fun little uh, smaller non-scary roller coaster rides. So that was super fun. It was a wonderful trip and then we went to Los Angeles to the Academy of Motion Pictures Museum and we wanted to see Hayao Miyazaki's exhibit and along that we were able to check out all the other wonderful exhibits there. Uh, we were hoping we could take pictures but we were told that once you were inside the Hayao Miyazaki exhibit that you weren't allowed to take pictures so they had a beautiful mural outside and I think that was the highlight. Once you got in you were able to view some of the beautiful storyboards that they had made, some uh, posters and other things that um, I don't want to spoil it for you so I want you to enjoy it when you do visit. The admission fee was very affordable. As a matter of fact uh, anyone that 17 and under was free admission so I thought that was wonderful. One of my favorite uh, part or exhibit was the Path of Cinema and it had all these wonderful items from the movies so you'll see Star Wars, E.T. Uh, and 
and a lot more so when you see it and I also love the costume design part and here's one they showed for um, Elton John's Rocket Man film so I, I really enjoyed that part of the tour they had uh, the Oscar experience exhibit that I wanted to do but decided to we decided to skip I had to pay a little extra for that and then um, we went into the gift shop and was hoping we could buy some you know souvenirs for the Studio Ghibli part but the items were so expensive I couldn't believe it I've seen similar items in San Francisco in our Japan town so we decided not to get any but here are some clips of some of the stationaries and plushies that they did offer there so that was a super fun part and then um, off we went to uh, Boulder we, we uh, flew to Denver Colorado to visit my in-laws my sister-in-laws live in Boulder and we went to a bookshop and it is called Boulder Bookstore. So here is what their paper bag looked like. I am, I'm saving it because as you know, if you are a junk journal maker, we love using this stuff and repurposing this. I love the image on it. It's a cute little bookstore in there and they had a lot of free little flyers and bookmarks. And I was so happy to find the My Totoro Hayao Miyazaki little novel booklet. This is one of four. It's too bad they didn't have the rest, but this was such an affordable price. I've seen this on Amazon being sold for more, and I thought I would go ahead and get it. So here it is. It's super fun. So if you haven't seen this movie make sure you do it is such a fun and heartwarming film so that's the first book we got my daughter emmy picked the second book because she's been reading this uh, series this is the wild robot escapes it's a new york times bestseller so she is enjoying it i think she still has a way to go with the reading but just wanted to show you what she found we also went to a um, comic store. This time it was in a small town in Longmont and she got her first manga, I guess, book. It's My Hero Academia. This was recommended by my friend Joanne as a starter book. So she got book one and so hopefully she enjoys it. And let's see what else we got. Alright guys, I moved the tea because we have some paper here. So some of the freebies that we got from the Boulder Bookstore was from the children's section. I thought that was so wonderful for them to offer. We have some of the free mega activity books. So there's a various uh, crossword puzzles. You can make your own little, you can finish the story in your own words. I thought that was so neat. So we got this one. We have another one, Perfectly Pegasus Activity Book. And then there were uh, numerous bookmarks. So we just got a few. Here is one with uh, tattoos. And then Emmy is a big fan of Wings of Fire. So we definitely had to get one of these. Here's another one. This one was really cool too. And then this one had some really adorable illustrations on it you can definitely use it as a journaling card. So I thought this was so cute. And then we have this print from a really popular author, John Klassen, and I thought this would be fun wall art to put in our rooms or use even as a cover for like a binder, a crafty binder. So I was so happy to find that. And speaking of art, I'm going to show you some of the wonderful gifts that we received from um, my sister-in-laws and we had such a wonderful time spending with our family. I haven't seen them in two years so I was super super happy to see them. The first gift that I received was from my sister-in-law. Mala, Mala, if you're watching, thank you for this beautiful bracelet. So she got all of us one of these 
and she was she had packaged it in this beautiful bag so she's visiting from France and she got this from this shop she said I think if I'm not mistaken this is lapis and it is beads for serenity and so I thought that was so special it comes in a bag like this this is for my daughter Lil and I'll be mailing that off to her so she can wear it so we have that one and then she got my daughter Emmy a bracelet as well and in addition she got her this cute little little prince tray how adorable is that uh, my sister-in-law also Rupa gave me this oh my gosh she is so talented so she was uh, watercoloring and I was just amazed at her work look at this beautiful piece that she made so I'm gonna be framing this this is one that she gave to Emmy. We did a few watercoloring exercises together while we were there. I am still on the learning curve, so I still need to practice. And then she made another piece here for Lil, and I think Lil will love this. And I had asked that she give this to me. It reminds me of cherry blossoms, so I'm gonna be probably putting a quote here and then framing it. How gorgeous is this, guys? Isn't it pretty? So I love that. And then uh, my sister-in-law, Moni, also got us and the kitties some goodies. And she got me this adorable tote bag with the flowers. So thank you so much. I think it is so cute. I love birds and flowers. And she got me this cute towelette. Uh, she has the most adorable dog, um, Mila. And she got this for me because uh, the features of this dog is similar to her, her puppy. Or, well, not puppy. I think she's a, a little over a year old now. But how cute is that towel? And in addition, she got us, the kids, some of these magnets for a souvenir. Little ducky. And a little bird's nest milk chocolate coconut treat. So I thought that was super sweet. Now let's have a look and see which souvenirs we did pick up. The first local shop we went to uh, was this local gift shop called Bricks. And my daughter Emmy wanted to buy a few stickers uh, to give as souvenirs to her friends. So one of her friends loves elephants, so she wanted to give her this elephant and she wanted to give this sticker with the succulents to another one of her close friends. I spotted this cute one and it's called Anecdote of Overthinking. So I thought it was really cute, so I got that one. And then we headed off to one of the bookstores and it's called Barbed Wire Books. So they have a lot of used books. This is a little magnet and I love their business card as well. I bought myself a little fox for a bookmark. I think it is so pretty. They're metal corner bookmarks. So we have that one. And at the airport, oh no, there is one more thing. From Bricks, I, I got one of the Boulder chocolate cherry fennel, dark chocolate and fruit. So I think that would be fun. And then at the airport, we had some last minute shopping. And I'm sorry, I'm forgetting that we got these little mushroom and snail little pins from Bricks as well. And then we got this bag from the airport color. I'm gonna be gifting it to a friend of mine that took care of our little fishy. And then uh, some cowboy chocolates I'll be giving to my sister so we have that and then Emmy wanted to buy a couple more gifts for her friend so we have this Colorado mousse chocolate butter toffee peanuts and then this one is praline and it has it says Colorado bear poop it's, so I thought it was funny and she thought her friends would get a kick out of that so what else did we get that was it we did actually get one item from Knott's Berry Farm and it is this little postcard. We just we had a little train ride, the Calico Mine Company train. It's a kid ride, but it was just so cute and we love the image here. So this was in a cavern 
and we thought we'd just put that in our journal, write about the trip, so I thought I'd add that in there. Lastly, I wanted to share some uh, hauls of some items that we purchased here locally. So if you're ever in Pleasanton or in the Bay Area, make sure to check out the therapy stores. They have some really wonderful novelty items. The first item we got was a is a gift for Emmy's friend who is celebrating her 12th birthday and they are maki socks. So she loves sushi. So we thought this was amazing. The packaging is fun and the socks are so adorable. So we got her this pair. And then for Em's, Emmy wanted, uh, spotted this and she used some of her allowance to buy her pancake socks and I thought it was so cute. And this is what the socks will look like. So how adorable is that? And then we headed over to another small shop called American Harvest. And I'll show you what we got. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Emmy, like me, loves birds. She spotted this puffin bird. How cute is this guy? So we got that puffin. I got myself a little pigeon. So I'm going to be putting that at my shelf in my little craft room in our guest room. So we have those two birds. And then the lady had these little um, containers that had some antique postcards. So here's the first one. I love it with the girl and her bouquet and the doggy. A message greeting and then on the back side. I love that this one's embossed so you can feel the texture. The writing, it says it was from Florence. I wish the date was still visible but um, I think it's still a beautiful piece to use as ephemera in uh, vintage journals. And then here's a Merry Christmas one and I thought it was so special. Here's what the back side looks like, 1925. And then I really love this one as well. Beautiful image. And here is the postcard. And it's in French. So I thought this was really cool. And that's it. I bought three of those postcards. I was being really picky. She had quite a few, but it was fun to look through it. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this Tea Tuesday. I have to finish my cup of tea. Wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. Thanks again for watching. Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.